What's up guys? Welcome back to Man Cave Collectible Reviews. We are at the Hickory Toy Show. They're telling us there's over 400 tables of toys today. Look who I got with me. What's up guys? Zach Jack Man. We got, y'all know Zach Jack Man. We do the live stream. It's one of my best buddies in life right here. I actually talked him into coming out. It's pouring down. It's miserable outside. We had to drive like 50 minutes in the rain, but I think it's well worth it because uh, just what we're seeing straight in the door has us pretty excited. So. You can see just everything going on right now. Uh, they said it's the biggest uh, toy show that they've done here in Hickory before. So I'm gonna film what I can. As you guys know, it's a little tough sometimes to film toy shows. I don't wanna get in people's way, but I'm gonna hit the cool stuff. Uh, Dan, Dan may even do some filming for me uh, just to kind of give me a break as we walk around. So uh, kind of a guest toy hunt filming appearance maybe by Zach Jack Dan. So let's get right to it. You got anything to tell the people? Uh, I don't know. Are you looking for anything special? Just vintage. Vintage TMNT. You know, Thunder. I, I really want a nice minty lion uh, Like an LJN lion right, you know. So, yeah, so let's go see what's on the shit. Let's, what's, what's on the shelves? What's on the tables? Shelves, table. Yeah, there's a lot of shit. All right, let's get to it, guys. Four hundred tables, dude. Four hundred tables of just goodness, toy goodness everywhere. There's some vintage turtles somewhere. I just saw them right around here, but yeah. All right, guys, starting the gate. Right out of the gate, we got our buddy Needless Toys and Collectibles. This is John from Needless Toys and Collectibles. He's one of our favorites in the business. There's the new horse, looking good. So Needless is one of the few toy shop dealers around in the Southeast, right? That does uh, that does Mythics at retail. So, you know, these guys are are awesome when it comes to that. That's uh, that's a really cool figure right there. Is that like a web? Is that like a web store kind of? Dude, that's sweet. Yeah, that is awesome. I really, I really like this one right here. I might have to come back and get this one from you, John. I'm just, I'm a sucker for like the Spartan type look for these characters and mythics. And I, ooh, look at that! Look at that! That's the Wildcats. Is that that's the whole? Is that about the whole line and whole team, ain't it? I wonder what kind of condition those are in. I may have to come back and see on some of those too. Got some WCW over there. Some nice vintage TMNT. Got a Fortress Maximus. Coming on down, got some, uh, got some of the uh, Zords. I guess these are Zords, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know what those are either. That's, that's awesome right there. That is so cool. Micro machines right there. Very cool. Got some more uh, modern toys over here. Really, really good prices on this stuff. I mean, ridiculously good prices on this stuff right here. Mr. T for 25. Got a uh, Bronx Air for 45. Zach Jack Dan over there is getting ready to pick up a Frankenstein Raphael. Oh, these were you remember these? These yeah, were so yeah, cool. I had all these. They actually did almost did a better job of the character selection with these uh, with the 3.75s. I always thought. Alpha and Beta, Walking Dead, Customs. Yeah, I think on this side they're ten dollars, and on the other side I think they're fifteen dollars. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. Check out those. And I really like how you put these in the in the plastic like that. That's I've never seen that before. But that's super. Keep the weapons and everything together. Yeah, yeah. Keep it clean. Keep the dust and the 
and the stuff off of it. Check this out, guys. Look how he does his uh, how he does his all of his stuff just to protect them. That's pretty cool looking. Some Power Rangers over here. Finster back in there. Let's see what we got. A couple of the uh, bad guys there. Very cool. Check out these old Aladdin toys, guys. That's really cool. I had a couple of these when I was a kid. Some of these older classic superstar figures. Ultimate Warrior there. The Mighty Man, Stone Cold. Yeah, guys, we got some Marvel Legend goodness right here. Rhino, just one of my all-time favorites there. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> All right, guys, look who I got with me here. This is Todd Venture. So Todd is another one. He's a local YouTube guy here, local yep. to me. And he does all kinds of travel videos, toy hunt toy videos, hunt, yeah. does a little bit of everything. I'm going to put a link down in my description to his channel. So go check him out. He's a really cool guy. Me and him, we haven't been able to link up at some point. We we're going to try to link up, do a, do a collaboration hunt oh, yeah. video. Uh, he, he, he goes to the same places y'all see me go to all the time. We've ran into each other multiple times. Yep. So link in the description to his video. Check him out. I'd appreciate it, guys. You take care. We'll see you soon. All right, then we got some Doc Ock back in here. There's some Godzilla Flintstones up there. Check those out. That's pretty cool. All oh, these right here. That's tempting to me right there. Oh, and they've got the other two pack there, the Raph and the Mike, the Leo and the Don. So that is awesome. Got some wrestling over here. NWO Hollywood Hogan, NWO Kevin Nash. Do you like Facebook, Instagram, anything like that? Yeah, there's a my shop's called Spoon. We do a lot of stuff, a little bit of everything. But yeah, if you want to follow it, it's just Spoon Bulls on Facebook and Jason. Some of the 2000 stuff. Oh, look at those Mortal Kombat's over there. Okay. So I'm only about two and a half hour drive. But if you ever see anything that you like, just hit me up. I can ship or whatever. If you ever come that way, you know, awesome. I don't know if you ever go that way or not. Sure, man. Okay, guys, got some cool Migos. Cool Migos, and then some of the uh, build a figures down here. Some of the legends built, yeah. That's still 150. That is right there, guys. Cool them dudes. Some original Megazord there. It's a really nice line, though. He just doesn't have his stuff with him. Some nice vintage He Man. Really nicely packaged. Well taken care of. I've got the uh, uh, turtles with the mutating Real turtles. Um, yeah. These packs are pretty cool. The turtles. The way he does all these is really nice. Ooh. Look at that. Nope. That's cool right there. Figures back on 
this in this table right here. Check that out, guys. How often do you see that? Very cool. Nice Star Wars setups here. The early bird display. Falcon in box. I want the you know, you know, to you sprinkle it in there. And, no, not all now. I, yeah, I would take like 13 bucks. Yeah. Banana, so I just picked up a few weeks ago. Yeah. Some cool GI Joe's here. Not sure how good these are showing up on, uh, on camera. Uh, they look pretty good. Pretty good in these baggies like that. Shipwreck. Some of my favorites. Nice vintage TMNT down here. Look at that, guys. A little, little Rancor and box action right there. Star Wars Slave one up there. Yeah, that's that's cool right there. At the last show? Yeah, I think so. You sure did. <laughs> what's his name? Come on, what's his name? Triton, right? <laughs> I love the whale. Cave shopping. Oh, more Battle Beast. Have you seen one in package yet? Ne never in real life. Not since I was a kid. Wow. You know? That's the only one I've ever seen on the phone. In real life. I got a place that I got a This was in my collection. Oh, okay. That's all I got one that had the other side of the box. So you had, did you actually this have This wasn't your mouth? original though? Yeah, I had about set up. Is this your original? Yeah. This one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. No, 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 this wasn't my original. Okay, I okay. bought him on my own because I have a G1 collection. I got you. Yeah. So when I finally got one with this side of the box and it still had the tape on it, I went, yeah. uh, yeah, you guys did it. Easily. <laughs> so. But. He's what, been in, he's been in my collection for some time now. What you got on? Two hundred. Yep. 
get the good price. Guys, yeah, check out this full-size gremlin. Look at this guy. How cool is that? Guys, we're over here at Needless Toys and Collectibles, and I wasn't going to film today here, but look at what they have in. Dan, go stand beside that box. Look how big the box is for this. So Dan's about 6'1". Look at this. That's insane. And this was in retail. And that was in retail. Let's see the back side of this thing. Here's the back side. That's awesome. I've never seen one of those in real life, actually. It's pretty cool. So yeah, guys, here is uh, Needless Toys and Collectibles in Lincolnton, North Carolina. Um, not gonna film the whole store today just because we don't have a lot of time, but um, if you're ever over in this area, this would be a shop you would uh, definitely great price. want to hit out. Yeah, good price is fair. Uh, Tracy, the owner's a great guy. So um, yeah, Needless Toys and Collectibles, Lincolnton, North Carolina. We'll get out here and do a toy hunt of it. Uh, sometime here soon and uh, show you guys what all they have in inventory all right guys that's hickory toy convention uh, quickly becoming one of the best toy shows i think anywhere around this area maybe even the southeast 400 plus tables of toys it was just overwhelming to be honest with you i did not film probably one one hundredth of the amount of toys that they had in that place i kind of hit stuff here and there but I, I probably missed a lot of good stuff and it, 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 if you're in the area I think in the middle of August, they're doing it again. You need to try to get to that toy show. Go to Inside Pitch Promotions online and you can see their schedule. Uh, that's who actually sets up and does those uh, shows. So it is phenomenal. It would be worth even a, a couple hour drive if you're within a few hours of the Hickory, Charlotte area. So it's a, that's a big city type toy show in the city of Hickory. So, th you know, this is a Charlotte, Atlanta type toy show uh in kind of a smaller city it's it's pretty amazing so anyways we're at a walmart i want to get in here let's see what's on the shelves we'll head out to a target after that i don't think i'm gonna do a toy haul at the end of this video uh just due to time i actually want to do like a dedicated toy haul uh later this week so be looking for that but let's go ahead let's get inside walmart let's see what's on the shelves all right guys we are starting out in the toy section over here we got some classified figures on the retro card backs Baroness, Lady J, these have been hanging around forever maybe clearance items in the future potentially, I don't know got some of the superstars lineups here we got the million dollar man Ray Wyatt these need to clear out here too um, because we got uh, some really really cool new ones that are coming here sometime in the future they uh, had a lot of wrestling announcements here recently. Some AEW figures. Got the restocks of the He-Man 40th. Got a lot of those hanging out up here on the uh, on the shelves. AEW, lots of Adam Page back through there. Got the Starks. Got the Snake Eyes and uh, Timber 2 pack there. A little bit of retro card, a little bit of retro card uh, Star Wars up here. Got a Migs with a jacked up box there. Coronation Star Screen in the house. Superpowers. You know, I wonder how the Superpowers line is doing. Um, don't hear many people talk about it much anymore. Um, when they come out, vehicles, everything seems to be really sitting and not really moving a whole lot. So, yeah, I'd be interested to know how that's doing. Drop a comment down below. Let me know, is that something you collect or are you familiar enough with the line to kind of know how it's doing? Is it a healthy line? Is it, you know, something that's gonna gonna die on the peg eventually? Some Marvel Legends up here. Sabretooth. Siren back in there. All the Jurassic Park, Jurassic World stuff there. Got 
some uh, turtle stuff, which we've seen for many weeks in a row here. Raphael, Mikey, there's a Leo that I actually saw earlier up there. So always check your, uh, always check the top of your shelves there. So Triceratons. Transformers. Not necessarily seeing much new. That, that might be one I haven't seen yet. Uh, Air Razor, that's from the new movie. Um, I think uh, Skullgrin might be a, a newer one. I think we may have seen it before. Jaxus, lots of Jaxus here. And the Galvatron. There's the star screen. That's a pretty cool uh, reissue. I just don't like the pra plastic free packaging. I saw yesterday at the toy show the 2017 version of this had plastic. It looked fantastic. It, it displays so much better than the box stuff does. Right, we'll come down and see what's on this side of the aisle. We got Five Nights of Freddy. This is all your video game stuff. Down through here. And, uh, Nothing I really collect per se. And this, these, I do have these. These are the Red Ranger, Yellow Ranger, Black Ranger. We've got all those. Um, picked all those up many, many weeks ago. So yeah, those are cool, cool figures. They're they're kind of on the cheaper side, 17 bucks. Not nearly what Lightning Collection is, but they're they kind of have a cool look just standing on a shelf. Got some Sonic up top. All right, let's head back to NECA. All right, guys, so here we are in the NECA section. That's new. Check that out. Somebody's already opened it, but... Ooh, that is, a, that is not a comfortable feeling plastic right there. But <laughs> it's a Batman 89 collector's mask. Interesting. Uh, that, that would not be comfortable, I can tell you, by just, looking, by just feeling the plastic of that. Some last Ronin up in here. There's a review on the channel of this guy if you want to see that. Little Goliath still hanging around. Got some of the Raph, Frank and Raph, the Slash figure looking really good from the Archie comics. I'm so torn on the Archie stuff. Should I collect this? Should I not? Spawn from Mortal Kombat 11. Soul Crusher. This neck section has been decimated right here and then uh, they kind of had an extension on the ends of these aisles and there's nothing there either so yeah not much going on let's head on to target all right next stop is target uh, walmart uh, didn't really have anything i was interested in um so let's see hopefully we have a little better luck at target let's go see what's on the shelves all right guys we are in the NECA section here we got some, some creep show Frankenstein and Jaws, Little Ash, Evil Dead, It, T2, got some Hudson hanging around over here, Demona, got a Grim Sword here, ooh that's cool right there, that is an awesome looking figure. I'm not a D and D guy, but man, that's cool for the guys that are. Got the monsters there, Herman. And got a whole bunch of this stuff. Got the raft, freaking raft, still hanging out. Predator two. What is this? Look at the. That's new. Snake Predator. I don't think I've seen this one. 30th anniversary. That's pretty cool looking. All right. And got regular old Jungle Hunter Predator. Got a slew of pops. Got the Spider Gremlin. Slash hanging out in there. Don't see any of the other. Man, 
find this place right here. This is a total mess. This place is a total mess. There's some uh, naked display stands. I actually kind of need some of those. I got some NECA figures that don't want to uh, stand up on their own. We might go ahead and grab those. I don't know. I'm going to see how much they cost. I don't see them anywhere. I don't see the price, but we might might grab some NECA display stands. Let me know in the comments if you've ever used these. Um, how, do they, how do they do with NECA figures? I got a T-800 and a T-1000 that won't stand for nothing. Oh, that's cool. It's the old toy. Kenner looking figure. Let's get to the toy section. Here we go. We got some toys up in here. There's a Toys 80 piece. $10 off. 50 or more. $25. Dollars off 100 That's a pretty good deal. Some of the TMNT stuff here showing up at Target. Here's Renee. I actually kind of need T Rex from the Hammond collection. Stratos up there from Masters. Ooh, there's the new Masters of the Universe He Man. Kind of that movie style. I don't really look just like him, but too bad hanging out. The three pack down there. There's Mega Neck right there. Ahsoka. Got a Ken Shamrock and a couple other nice figures or good wrestling figures up there. But you got Clarence there. Clarence on Seth. Had a big win last night. there in the wrong section Power Rangers action got a ton of these bats some Wakanda got some D&D stuff there Duke and Ram hanging out ooh there you go Check that out. Now's the time to get your uh, Duke and Ram cycle. That's a new swoop, ain't it? Swoop. All right, cool. And we're running on through the video game stuff here. Got some Fortnite. There's the Mario stuff hanging out right there. Play sets. Oh, here's all the figure display stands, but they still don't have prices on them. <laughs> it's crazy. There's a plush Goliath. How's this line doing? That's another line I wonder about. It's the Defenders line, how it's doing. So there are the clear ones, the black ones, and then the like flight stand, dynamic figure stands. But I'm still gonna get, go ahead and just get these right here. And then another NECA section over here. So we got, got the baseball gremlin. That's cool looking. Kill it with the gremlins. Some ALF, more predator, jungle hunter. Nothing screw loose. Now Odie from Garfield. More wing nut and screw loose down there. Alright, I think that is it. Let's head. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't even look at Alf. Boom. There's an Alf. Pretty cool. I guess I need to look back here behind these and see what. Fugitive Predator. All right, 
I think that is it. All right, guys, that is it for this week's toy hunt. Uh, not a whole lot going on out there. Um, you know, it's uh, thank goodness for the toy show. Thank goodness for toy shows and conventions in general, uh, because man, the retails can really be uh, you know hit or miss nowadays. And right now is a miss. Kind of ever since the NECA Holophon stuff's just been really slow. You know, for the last month or so. So. Hopefully we'll start getting some new shipments of G.I. Joe Classified and, you know, we need some new Power Ranger stuff out there on the shelves. Obviously, MOTU will be coming as well. You know, I'm sure NECA has got stuff that coming, you know, coming down the pipe and then all the McFarlane Batman stuff, you know, like from the new Flash movie. Those will be, uh, you know, hitting here soon. So we'll have stuff to hunt coming up here real soon. Uh, anyways, again, guys, I, I appreciate all the support you guys always show the channel. Uh, that is very appreciated. We're going to have a live stream coming up this week, uh, I believe Thursday night. So be on the lookout for that. If you've never been part of a live stream, you will enjoy it. Uh, this is going to be a trivia night, uh, which is really cool. We'll probably do some giveaways. So, uh, yeah, check out the channel Thursday night. We'll be promoting it. So you'll see it on the social medias, Instagram, YouTube, if that's something you're interested in. So, anyways, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Until next time.